Protecting our planet is crucial due to the growing threat of climate change. Recognising our urgent need to decarbonise, Artemis Technologies is transforming the maritime industry using innovative technology and solutions to help future-proof our oceans and waterways. We went to their facilities in Belfast to find out more. Artemis Technologies design, engineer and manufacture 100% electric hydrofoiling vessels that are powered by the revolutionary Artemis e-foiler system, the world's first commercially viable zero-emission propulsion solution for high-speed maritime transport. Founded in 2017 by Dr. Ian Percy, a double Olympic gold medalist and America's Cup veteran, Artemis Technologies emerges as a spin-off from the successful America's Cup professional sailing team, Artemis Racing. The wins for me are actually the days when, with the test team, with the build team behind us here, we get something on the water and it works and it's in line with our expectations and our simulations. They're the greatest days because then you see it all clicking. It then does click, but you know early. You know at that point and you can collectively be proud of that achievement. Artemis vessels are in demand with buyers from across the world turning to their tried, tested and proven e-foiler system. In 2024, the company is continuing to grow, having successfully transitioned from research and development to serial production. The company is now able to meet growing market demand, delivering high-performance vessels that fly above the waves, providing a range of benefits for operators and passengers, including more stable, comfortable journeys and reduced operating costs. We offer solutions that will help other companies decarbonize and to offer them a viable transport um, solution for different um, towns and cities that have waterborne transport. And also at the heart of what we're doing is trying to understand what our role is there as well. So we're not just a producer of a solution, we are a manufacturer of that solution and we have to assess you know, what our footprint is personally as, as, a, as a company and that's something that um, is we're actively researching, you know, today. Artemis Technologies has also expanded to North America, a market with more than 900 ferries in operation. The North American side of Artemis is spearheaded by fellow co-founder David Tyler. New York is really an example of how the city has tried to rethink the way they use their waterways and um, to try and use them to decongest road and rail networks that are, as populations are growing, are becoming too busy and too crowded. So NYC Ferry is a great example of that. They've gone from zero ferries in 2016 to 38 high-speed boats today, um, and they're looking to expand their services, and they've, it's been incredibly successful. The, boat, the ferry service is really popular. And um, yeah, New York is a, is a perfect place for us to land in the US. However, it is not just internationally where Artemis are growing and expanding with women making up only 2% of the global maritime workforce. Artemis Technologies also believes it has a role to play in encouraging more diversity in STEM roles. What I'd love to see is no barriers to entry for anyone, you know, irrespective of where they grew up or, or what their gender is. What I'd love is that it's, there's no, um, no gendered education in schools so that people think there's jobs for boys and jobs for girls. And I think if it we take it very, very early back to education and play. Professor Thompson is part of a team that combines global expertise in automotive, aeronautical and maritime excellence. But she added that innovation and environmental responsibility in the blue economy is what binds their organisation together. I also um, really need on the research and technology side of things in Artemis as their chief engineer. So that's responsibility for the research group. So we work really closely with local universities and actually beyond in the UK and Ireland as well, just to identify what our core needs are for research and what direction of travel we're going in in the upcoming years. The Artemis ethos of working together to protect our oceans and waterways while transforming their sector and keeping people moving has already made waves across the world. Dr. Ian Percy says their voyage is only just beginning. The great thing about sport that I used to do a lot of is the, probably the only bit I used to enjoy most of all about winning is that it's a validation of all those decisions. And for us, what that validation of all those decisions is seeing 
hundreds of our Artemis e-foiler vessels around the world, transporting people to work, transporting people to wind farms, and saving hundreds and hundreds of thousands of tons of CO2 every day.